Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer. <coughs> today, today's the greatest day I've ever known. Um, <laughs> on Fridays we show yarn. Today, I was waiting. I've been waiting all week, hoping against hopes that my Hobie yarn, either one of the orders would arrive. Um, so that I can show you guys what I ordered <laughs> or what has is being sent to me either way. Last I checked the, er, earlier today, it said it was still in Copenhagen and then just a little bit ago I got notification that it should be here Tuesday-ish. So we will see. So maybe next Friday. Maybe next Friday. <laughs> However, I did I did go to Walmart. I purchased some yarn. Um I'm going to show you what I purchased. I only purchased one type of yarn, but I purchased three skeins. And this is the way we're going to do things from now on. Because, you know, there's a lot of blame game going around. There's a lot of she made me or it's their fault that I purchased this. So I'm going to change the dialogue. <clears throat> I'm going to change the way that we word it here on this channel. Instead of saying I blame so-and-so for my purchases... I'm going to take responsibility for my own dang self. And I'm going to say that I was inspired by instead because it sounds a little bit nicer. So, <laughs> this yarn was totally inspired by another podcaster. Because I, much like all of you, we watched that this light seems like it's so bright in my face. There we go. Now I don't feel like it's blinding me so much. Um, <laughs> I, like many of you, or like all of you, I do get influenced by the influencers. When I see somebody working with yarn and it's really pretty, I want it, just like all of you. You know, it's the same. But instead of saying I was enabled or I was forced somehow to get this yarn by someone else, I'm going to just say, I saw this. I got a little bit of uh, FOMO. I had the fear of missing out. But it wasn't even really that. Like, I saw the yarn and I was like, oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. And I looked, and it was not in stock at my store at all. I went to Walmart, by the way. And here's another reason why I'm showing Walmart yarn. Because for the past two weeks, I have shown... I showed Premier, Premier yarn this week, which was awesome. That was a good deal. <laughs> but the past two weeks, I have shown yarns from Michael's. And the price hike at Michael's has made a lot of people angry or frustrated or irritated or whatever the words are. And yesterday's video in particular, <laughs> the comments are all pretty much negative. So we're going to turn it around. This is a budget-friendly yarn. Um, it feels, it's not the softest, but it's really pretty. So I think, I think I should not have a problem working with this yarn because I have worked with this brand before. And while it is not the softest, it does not bother me as much as some other yarns do. So hopefully, hopefully, I want, my plan is to knit with this. So, you know, that must be the plan. <laughs> anyway, the person who inspired me to make this purchase was Ella from No Catchy Name. Now, Ella just had a baby. She had a baby uh, a couple days before my sister did. So they were like, they were both pregnant at the same time. They both were having a girl. Like all of the things were lining up at the same time between the two of them. So I was very happily watching along, like seeing what was going on with her pregnancy. And then, you know, obviously like watching my sister go through all of the same things pretty much. <laughs> so I was watching her, I was watching Ella lead, leading up to her going to the hospital to give birth. And she was working with this one particular yarn. And if she's watching this, she knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> She said, I think she said she was gifted this yarn and she was working it up. She was making a, um, a, a, I think it's a phone holder thing. It's like a pillow thing that is for your phone to like set your phone in so that you can set the pillow like wherever and it holds your phone upright or whatever. Because I have a tendency of doing the same thing. And I'm not making one of those pillow things because I have tables in my living room and there's always like a heavy mug or a cup or something I just prop my phone against that you know <laughs> I, I bought rolling tables for my living room specifically so that I always had a table for either my projects that rolled around 
or like if the kids are eating in the living room, like, or whatever, I can prop my phone up because you know, my phone, I do a lot of video chatting with my sister because she is nine and a half hours away from me. So, you know, I, I, I don't need the pillow, but like when she was working it up, I was like, oh, that yarn is pretty. Like I liked the way it was working up. It was, um, it was pooling a little bit and the colors were really valentine -y and pretty. And I was like, oh, I really like the yarn she's working with. And then she made, I think she made something for the baby in the yarn too. And it was just so pretty. And I just liked the way it was pooling. And I was like, that would be so pretty, like knit up as well as crocheted up. So that's why, that's why I bought it. Cause I was inspired by Ella. <laughs> <laughs> so the yarn, since you guys are all being so patient while I'm rambling, is mainstay. Okay, this is Walmart yarn. This was $2.98 a skein, which is way more reasonable than some of the other yarns I've been buying at Michael's. $2.98 for $10 and some change. I got three skeins of yarn and I bought Little Man a, um, a pack of Haribo gummy thingies. Yeah, it was $10.44. So, good deal, good deal. <laughs> For $10, I got three skeins of yarn as opposed to that really expensive yarn from Michaels. My eye is twitching. You guys see that? Wow. <clears throat> so anyway, like I said, this is 100% acrylic yarn. It is mainstays. It is the color Pink Multi. I didn't know these were dated. These are dated 9 to 2021, 3 2021, and 9 2021. Different lot numbers. I did notice. Can you see which one's a different lot number? This one. See the difference in colors? I didn't pay attention to that in the stores. I did notice that some of the, the skeins were drastically different. Um, these two are lot 62 and this one is lot 38. So maybe I'll knit something with this and then I'll crochet something with this. I don't know. I just thought these were so pretty. And I, you guys know, I told you, I really, really love Valentine's Day stuff. I love Valentine's Day colors. That's why I put my little Valentine thing up. But like, I waited too late in the month to put that up. So... In like two weeks, that's going to switch to green sparkly for March because of, Val not Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. So, I'm going to give you a quick little review of this yarn. And I can tell you from looking at Ella's video, everything she's made with this yarn, it pools. So you'll get like, depending on what you're making. I mean, obviously it's not going to pull with everything. But she had like little pieces of the dark pink and then white and light pink and then white. And I was like, it's so pretty. So if you can tell, there's three different shades of pink in here. At least I think there is. Yeah, well, maybe that's red. Oh, was dark pink? It is dark out. I am filming this at bedtime. <laughs> so yeah, there's this real dark pink. There's this medium pink, and then there's a baby pink. And then there is like a white. There's the white. Um, it does pull from what I've seen on Ella's channel and it's a 285 yards for three dollars not bad is a medium number four it recommends 5.5 millimeter hooks and needles um machine wash tumble dry wash in water not exceeding 104 degrees which means i can't do anything my water is so hot in this house uh on a delicate setting Is wash on a delicate setting. I've never seen that. Do not bleach. Tumble dry at a low heat at a delicate setting. Do not iron or press. Do not dry clean. Yeah. It says there's a pattern in the label too. Let's check that out. What is the pattern for? Pattern, pattern. The pattern is for a crochet basket. Let's see if I can show you. Crochet basket. See? See how it pulls? Isn't that cool? That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Let's see if I can get the label back on. 
So I was excited. Um, I actually went to Walmart looking for something totally different. This is another podcaster that has inspired me. I want to find the Super Saver Brushed, the Red Heart Super Saver Brushed yarn, which is supposed to be at Walmart. My Walmart has really terrible, terrible yarn department. I was surprised they had these because, like I said, I checked a couple weeks ago. It was like two weeks ago, I think, and they did not have any of this. And this week they had this colorway and then they had one that was pinks and purples and whites. And then they had a blue and white one. But they only had one of the blue left. And they usually have like a... I mean, they actually added a couple of boxes of yarn. I was surprised. But they did not have the Super Saver brushed. And I want to do a review on that. I want to try it. Because as you guys know, I am not a huge fan of Super Saver. Just because my skin condition, like it irritates my skin. And I'm kind of scared this might do the same thing. Because this is not very soft. It's not rough. I don't know. I'm just going to have to work with it. And I will let you guys know, of course, when I do work with it, if it bothers my skin. Because I've worked with Mainstay in the past, and it didn't bother my skin as much as Red Heart Super Saver. But I want to get my hands on the Red Heart Super Saver brush because I want to do a review on it. I just cannot find it locally to me for some reason. I want to compare it to, I have another brushed yarns that is, it's been discontinued from Premier Yarns, but I want to personally compare it to see how it works up next to the brushed yarn that I have worked with in the past. Um, a brushed acrylic is like really um, fuzzy. It's, it's not furry. It's not like anything like that, but it's... <clears throat> It's the equivalent of running a brush on felt. So it will fuzz up on the outside of it. And it does get softer. And so I'm so curious. Because Sandy from Crochet A Canada has... Um, she showed the brush on her channel. And she talked about how soft it was. And I'm like, okay, I need to see for myself. Because obviously, with my skin issues, like things are different for me than they are for normal people. And I'm, I'm just really curious. So I'm on the lookout for that as well. And so I went into Walmart tonight... I was like, I just want to see if they have the brushed, and they didn't. But the fact that they had this loaded, I was like, loaded, yeah. They had this stocked tonight. It made me very excited, so I hurried up and grabbed it. I grabbed it, and it's so pretty. And, the, and it's Valentine's week still. I mean, that counts, right? <laughs> so that that's our yarn for the week. That is our 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 yarn porn Fridays. Is just some mainstay acrylic. But next week, I do have, like I said, I have two Hobie orders that are um, on the way. And I have another order from Premier Yarns because I was gifted a gift card from Premier Yarns from one of you lovely subscribers. Um, she sent it to me in email last week. And I had just, it's so, so funny because I had just placed an order with Premier like the day before. <laughs> and I used reward points for it. So the order cost me like $3. And because, you know, that's all I can afford right now. I can't afford a whole lot. <laughs> I'm trying to be like reasonable with my money. And so she like the very next day, she sent me an email. She said, I bought you a gift card because she's, you know, she's far away and she can't afford to send me happy mail. So she she thought she would send me a gift card as a little present. And it was the sweetest thing mm -hmm. ever. And so I sat on it for like a couple of days. I was like, okay, well, what do I want to order? Like what? What do I want to treat myself with? And I really thought about it. And then Premier Yarns loaded some um, Universal Yarns on their website. Universal is the same yarn as Premier Yarns. They're the same company. Um, like Universal is like the mother company of Premier Yarns. But they had tend to sell more um, LYS, local yarn shop style yarns, a little bit more expensive. Um, so... <laughs> You know, when Premier clearances out Universal Yarns on their website, I usually snatch them up because I really like Universal Yarns, but they're, like I said, they're a little bit pricey. And so I grabbed a couple of different um, Universal Yarns from the Premier website that I'm going to show you when that comes in because the order has not it has not shipped yet. So we have we have yarn coming in for the future, and I'm also I'm working really hard on planning Premier Week. For next month I'm trying to figure out the exact dates and the exact yarns that I want to use for premiere week next month premiere week if you have not been here in the past is a week-long 
uh, adventure featuring my favorite yarns from Premier Yarns. And I'm trying to narrow down which ones I want to use because there's so many good ones. I have so many favorites. Um, anything in the the um, anti-pilling line from Premier Yarns is just, oh, it's so amazing. And picking just one of those or two of those is really hard for me. So if you have a favorite yarn from Premier Yarns, go ahead and put that in the comments below. I would really like opinions and suggestions for what you want me to show on, on Premier Week. And also what I do, not only featuring five different yarns, but I also try to do five different tutorials to go with those yarns. So we have just like a week-long adventure of yarn and yarn fun. <laughs> And so I, I'm working very hard on all of that and I'm planning it for like the middle of March around spring break. So I have a couple weeks to get the tutorials filmed and edited and uploaded. And I also have to probably order some yarn. So I'm hoping for like spring break week, middle of March. But yeah, definitely, definitely. I, in the past, and I will link, I will link in the description box the, um, the playlist that I made for Premiere Week. And I have featured Bloom, which I love Bloom, but I don't want to do another tutorial of the Bloom. I don't remember if I've done Spun Colors, but I may have done Spun Colors. But if we haven't featured Spun Colors, I am totally going to bring that. I need to remember. I don't remember. I've done two years now of the Premier Week, so Spun Colors is a really amazing yarn. I try to do a mix of more expensive yarns and like budget-friendly yarns, and I try to do um, a mixture of wool blends or just straight like anti-pilling acrylic, because like anti-pilling acrylic is the best. <laughs> Hands down, period. Just, it's the best. And so if you guys want to go peruse the Premier Yarns website and give me some ideas of what you might like. The only thing is, is I will not work with the fuzzy blanket style yarn, the polyester yarns, the, um, um, what is it called? The furry yarns. I don't want to work with any of that. So like the Aspen is out. I'm not working with the Aspen. I don't want to work with the chenille yarns. Um, but any of the other yarns are, I have, I have most of the yarns in stock already. I have so wooly. There's a super bulky wool yarn. Um, I have the new batik, which I have not worked. I haven't done a tutorial with the batik. I think that would be a very good idea because that would be in the anti-pilling group. Give me your ideas. What, what would you like to see on Premiere Week? And um, I will be researching tutorials and patterns off of Premiere's website and see what we can come up with. Hint, hint. <laughs> Hint, anybody want a tutorial for this? I will show this Monday. It's a t-shirt. It looks like a dress on Brunhilde, but Brunhilde is an extra small and that's like a 4X. But yeah, what do you think, what do you think, what do you think? I'm excited, okay, so I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I will see you Monday with my makes, including this and a couple other things that I have been working on and yeah, have a good weekend. Um, if it's warm where you are, go sit outside or sit next to a window if you can't make it outside. Just soak in some sunshine or some warm weather. Open your windows, let the air in. If it's cold and blustery, I'm really sorry. Watch a good movie. Make yourself some popcorn or a cup of tea or something. Watch your favorite videos. Do something for yourself this weekend because you deserve it. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.